Yes, now we will go with R gate. R gate using pass transistors. R gate design using pass transistors. So it is like this. Two N MOS transistors we have to take. Two N MOS transistors we have to take. And variable A first input. Okay, first N MOS source terminal A. Second N MOS source terminal is logic one. And the first N MOS gate is B bar. Second N MOS gate is B. And we have to join both the drain terminals. We have to join both the drain terminals. And output will be R operation. Output will be R operation. You see two N MOS. B complement followed by B. And A is the input. And one logic one should be given here. And here what we have. We, we have to take these two variables. A, B means these two variables we have to take. And appropriately we will get the output A plus B. Appropriately, we will get the output A plus B. Okay. So now we will do this in LT Spy software. We will do this in LT Spy software. I am taking a new window, new window, and then I am taking N MOS transistors, two N MOS transistors. This is first N MOS and second N MOS transistor. And then I want voltage sources. I want voltage sources. First N MOS gate, first N MOS source. This is the input. Second N MOS gate, and here logic one should be given. Logic one should be given at the source of second N MOS. Now ground points for all the four voltage sources. We need ground points. All the four voltage sources. We need ground points. Okay, and then take wiring. What I am going to do? First N MOS. Gate terminal is B bar. This is B bar. Okay, and the first N MOS source is input A variable. This is input A variable. Second N MOS gate terminal is B. This variable is B. This voltage is B. And the second N MOS source is logic one. Here logic one I have to give. Logic one I have to give. And both the drain terminals we have to join. Both the drain terminals we have to join, and we will be taking output at this point. And the source, uh, the substrate points we have to join with the source. Substrate we have to join with the source in N MOS. If we are taking P MOS, we have to join with the drain terminal. But this is N MOS, so we have to join at the. We have to join at the source. Yes, okay. Okay. Now, I will take label at the drain points. We are going to take output at the drain points. We have to take output. Escape. And then input. I will just take the input at the first N MOS source terminal. First N MOS source terminal. This is the input. This is the input. Okay, now we will slowly give the second N MOS source is logic one. So directly I will give five volts here, which is logic one. I am considering five volts as logic one. So here I am giving logic one. Now this is B. Okay, this is B bar, and this is input A. Okay, first I will set input A. First I will set input A. Advanced. Okay, earlier also input A. What we have given. Low value is zero, high value is five, and the delay is zero point five millisecond. Rise time one millisecond, fall time one millisecond, on time four mi uh, sorry eight milliseconds, and then time period sixteen milliseconds. The same we have given for indicate also. Okay, input variable we have maintained this for indicate also. Now this is our variable B, so I will go to B first. B what we have given advanced pulse type. And low value is zero, high value is five. Delay is zero point five millisecond. Rise time one millisecond. Fall time one millisecond. And on time is four millisecond. Time period is eight millisecond. Okay. And B bar I should give opposite. Only voltages I have to give opposite. Pulse I have to take five as the initial and zero as the on. And then delay same 0.5 millisecond, rise time 1 millisecond, fall time 
and on period 4 millisecond and this is time period 8 millisecond 4 and 8 I have maintained for B, B bar but for input I have maintained 8 and 16 so that uh, that four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 will come appropriately now simulation time i have to go to simulate edit simulation window maximum time i have used is 16 so you should give anything greater than 16 16 or anything greater than 16 so that we can see all the four combinations in the output window okay i have given all the settings okay this is the simulation time so i will put it here let the complete uh, circuit visible somewhere this transient means simulation time 16 millisecond for the entire circuit okay go to simulate button and then go to window take the vertical and right click add block plane right click add block plane i have three windows click in the first window run button then plot the b variable this is b variable circuit we should be thorough where is b where is a click in the second window run button and this is a variable this red color multimeter only you have to click don't go with other things so one one then zero one okay one zero and zero zero all the four combinations we are able to see now this is our output waveform we are going to get blue color is a variable green color is b variable okay b is control variable a is the input variable and click in the third window this is the output waveform window run button Output we are taking at the train terminal, click in the train terminal. Okay. So, whatever glitches are coming, that is because of that strong 0 and weak 1 passing of NMOS. NMOS behavior is strong 0 and weak 1 can be passed. So, when there are some jumps, okay, when the control variable is varying and when logic 1, logic 0 is passed, it will pass strong 0, but it will pass weak 1. Okay. It will pass strong 0, PMOS, uh, sorry, NMOS. NMOS will pass strong 0 but weak 1 ok it will happen um, when the zeros are uh, when the zeros are applied at the control something like that now 0 0 means output should be 0 0 0 means output should be 0 for all other 3 combinations output is 1 for all other 3 combinations output is 1 ok this is rise time for the waveform this is fall time for the waveform some delay also we have given 0 0.5 millisecond ok so at the jump at the jump okay we may not get sharp things and there may be some glitches as i told you strong zero weak zero strong one weak one concept okay and overall we are getting for zero zero output is zero okay and for all other three combinations output is one okay this strong weak zero weak one okay in nmos or pmos this weak zero weak one it can be overcome in uh, transmission gates when you put a uh, one PMOS, one NMOS face to face each other. One PMOS, one NMOS face to face each other in the transmission gate. This uh, week zero, week one passing uh, that happens in the um, PMOS and NMOS pass transistors can be overcome in transmission gates. Okay. This is about R gate operation. This is about R gate operation. Okay. So I will stop this R gate here.